In this video, we show how you can migrate your self-managed PostgreSQL database to Amazon RDS for PostgreSQL with AWS Database Migration Service. For homogeneous database migrations, AWS DMS uses native database replication tools such as pgdump and pgrestore to migrate your database schemas, data, and secondary objects such as functions, stored procedures, and so on. Before you start the migration, configure your databases and create the required AWS resources. For this video, we created an Amazon RDS for PostgreSQL target database, a virtual private cloud, an IAM policy and an IAM role to interact with Amazon EC2, Amazon CloudWatch, and AWS Secrets Manager. Also, we stored database credentials in AWS Secrets Manager. Next, we create data providers for our source and target databases in the AWS DMS console. Also, we create a subnet group that includes private subnets and an instance profile. A subnet group includes subnets from different availability zones which your instance profile can use. An instance profile specifies network and security settings for your serverless environment where your migration project runs. Finally, we create a migration project. Here, we specify the instance profile, source and target data providers, secrets with database credentials, and the IAM role to access AWS Secrets Manager. To run your data migration, you must configure your network to make sure that AWS DMS can access your source database. For ongoing replication, make sure that your source and target databases can communicate with each other. For more information, see the AWS DMS user guide. You can see that our source database runs on Amazon EC2 and includes 8 tables and has 17 gigabytes of data. At the same time, our target database is empty. Now, we create a data migration in the migration project. 
When you add two PostgreSQL data providers to your migration project, AWS DMS adds the Data Migrations tab. On this tab, you can create, manage, and run your data migrations. For each data migration, you choose the migration type. You can migrate all your source data, configure the replication of ongoing changes, or use these two options for a single data migration. If your data migration includes a full load step, AWS DMS deletes all data, tables, and database objects on the target database. In this video, we run the full load migration and CDC replication. To view the data migration log files, you can use Amazon Cloud Watch. In the advanced settings, you can set up the number of parallel data migration threads. Next, we choose the IAM role that we created in the prerequisites step and create the data migration. We plan to stop the data replication manually, so we choose the don't stop replication option. After AWS DMS creates your data migration, you can see the public IP address in the settings. To run the data migration, you must allow access to your source database from this IP address. After you configure your source database, start your data migration on the Actions menu. AWS DMS creates the serverless environment for your data migration. This process takes up to 15 minutes. You can track the progress. Stop or resume your data migration. You can see that AWS DMS loaded eight tables, completed the full load phase, and started the ongoing data replication. Let us check the target database. You can see that the target database includes eight tables and has 17 gigabytes of data. Next, we connect to the source database. And insert data into the source table. You can see that AWS DMS replicates this data in the target database. This video showed how to run a homogeneous data migration of a self-managed PostgreSQL database to Amazon RDS for PostgreSQL. Now, you can start your data migration. Thanks for watching this video.